But ladies and gentlemen, hi kids, hi you guys, we gotta talk about this situation. I mean, holy smoke is it ain't no jokers, okay? We had the Dr. Disrespect situation, we had the Mr. Beast saga as well, right? And now we got the Asman Gold situation. Prior to that, we had the KSI, Logan Paul, I mean, you know, Diddy situation. You forgot the Diddy situation, we had that, man! And now it is, it's just absolutely insanity. At first, when I saw the clip of Asman Gold, I really thought that that was AI, I didn't want to believe it, right? And uh, apparently it was not. He apologized. He also ended up getting banned oh, as well. Shit. Like the video if you love your mama. Like the video if you love God. Like the video if you just want peace. I'm not an expert on this situation. I'm not claiming to be. I'm not gonna act like I'm expert on it. But, but dog, like, bruh, like, th this is just crazy, bro. This is insanity. I, I want to show you the clip, of course, and uh, everybody got their... Uh, responses out we got we had Sneeko as well because uh Asmund Gold said that it's fine for them to I'm paraphrasing I'll, I'll play you the clip uh, he is for the genocide uh of Palestinian peoples just insane bro like listen I'm not an expert okay I'm not I'm not an expert on it but all I'm saying here is that like peace for everybody bro that, that's all I'm saying, bro. Like, l listen, man, you can pick a side. You can be on the side of Israel. You can be on the side of Palestine. You can be in the middle or you might not be bred. Like, let's just say, let's just stop with the killings of innocent people, okay? That, that, that's the side I'm on, alright? That's the side I'm on, man. Like, let, let's just uh, restore the peace. This is exactly what happens when you don't have video games to play, dog. This is what no video games does to a motherfucker out there, bro. Then you get into, like, like the politics and the 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 war, war is never the answer man that's exactly where i'm at but let's actually get down to it i want to show you guys like bunch of clips as well we have the homie xqc chiming in as well we had the hasana b clip uh, hasana b also did like a like an entire thing with asman gold now asman gold has come out and said that looking back on it i was way too much of an a-hole about the palestine thing my bad of course no one deserves to have their life destroyed even if they do things or have views i find regressive you guys deserve more than me saying stupid like that i'll do better and i feel like everybody has the right to have an opinion and he ended up getting banned for 14 days what's that gonna do you just violated your golden rule of never apologizing it would be interesting to hear why you made an exception on your next youtube video he says that i don't mind apologizing if it's something i'm actually wrong about given the amount of times i've gotten hate for things and never apologize should be proof enough of that and then you you see like people's response nico comes out says that if he said the same thing about the other side his bank account would be locked and then you, you got people saying he complains about the war games all day then does this on the weekends okay this is news to me calling anything inferior culture when you live like this is insane sneaker parody account said that is crazy bro i i feel like that the amount of time he's uh, he's banned for 14 days right i think he's gonna be able to clean his room and maybe binge like uh, all the netflix show and all that right like yeah man 14 days is uh justifying a genocide but we can't just for the whole oh, okay bro like these are like words i cannot even say on youtube dog that is insane so you can see like people just literally all over the place dog i want to show you guys this clip and we're gonna get down to it side i mean we already have went down to it but like shout out to the homie side scrollers roll it they're terrible people <clears throat> it's not even a question it's crazy that people don't see it that way they'd be doing the same thing Bro, they are... Bro, what? Mm. And how much did they kill? As many as they can. They're not able to kill as many people as Israel because they don't have as many bombs and as many weapons. But if they did, they'd be doing the same thing. Now, to be honest though, bro, like, yeah, Iran did retaliate, but from what I'm hearing, they only, like, attacked their military bases because Israel has been attacking their countries and all that, right? Uh, it, it's a crazy situation dog it is a crazy situation all i'm saying is that bro like peace on both sides right like peace on both sides war is never the answer because what war does is essentially like you know people's lives are taken away their family lives are being destroyed and uh if for example right you got a family of four people three of them ha died in this situation and you're the only one alive bruh like Bro, you're, you're gonna be revenge-filled, dog. Your soul would be revenge-filled. And that's... So, point that I'm trying to make here is that war is never the answer. It just creates more, more, and more. You know, it's like a never-ending situation. It, and Israel and Palestine, the conflict has been ongoing for, like, what, decades, right? 
Uh, and, uh, yeah, it, it, it gotta stop, man. It gotta stop for everybody, man. For everybody, bro. Like, uh, peace and love for everybody, man. Like, this is, uh, this is getting crazy out here. And to justify a genocide on either side, it's, it's, it's crazy, man. That's it. Just takes enough. That's right. These people are not your allies. They are not the same as us. They come from an inferior culture that is horrible. There it we kills go, people bro. for their identity and it is directly antithetical to everything Western values stand for. And it is an inferior culture in all ways. It is that simple. Dang. No, I don't feel bad for them. I don't feel sorry for them. I don't care. Dang. I don't support them. And that's perfectly fine if you don't want to support, though. Like, if you find, like, somebody's culture bad or not good or, you know... Because we, we, we were humans, we're always in, like, our, in our own groups. And that's fine, though. That is perfectly fine. Uh, and you don't have to support it. You, you can be, like, in your own bubble on your own side. And, uh... But you, you like, but justifying like a genocide, that's a little bit too much. Not a little bit, that's way too much, man. Like, you, you feel what I'm saying? So that's the statement that he made um, yesterday on his stream. And that got passed around Twitch pretty quick yeah. when you have the audience yeah, yeah, yeah. the size. Yeah, and I saw that. I saw that clip. And seriously, I did not believe it. Because I'm a fan of Asmund Gold, bro. Like, I like I like his content, man. Uh, so I didn't believe it. I was like, yeah, in the day, day and age of AI, like, I, I saw some of you sent it my way as well. And I looked at it and I was like, nah, bro, I don't believe that. I don't I don't believe that, right? Like, uh, because just previously, uh, we, we saw a video of Asmund Gold. We did it. And he was like, hey, peace for on both sides. And yeah, I agree with that. Like, like, uh, if you're for, for Israel or if you're for Palestine, like, I'm, I'm just, I cannot say some words on YouTube, so I'm just, uh, you, you see me uh, actively filtering myself here. But, yeah, you can pick either side, and but, but you can, but, like, asking for a genocide, that, that's insane, bro. That is that is just crazy to me, man. May, may, you, maybe that, uh, maybe it's me, maybe this is just me, but, uh, that he, uh, that he does. You have people who love you and you have people that absolutely despise you. And uh, he saw a lot of pushback pretty quick and actually came back. One of the only things about Asmongold, which I think a lot of people really, really like about him, is he's always said, you can't apologize. It's never going to be good enough. You can't yeah. apologize when it comes to this and, and that part is true, though. That part is true. Whether, let, let's just say this, right? Of course, in this situation, like him, uh, like saying genocide is fine for palestinian people which i i i heavily disagree with that dog uh, i i i disagree with like genocide on as a whole thing okay like i you, you know what i mean like peace for everybody man like let's just but uh but, but even in yeah man uh, apologizing just never goes well bro it never goes well and him of course saying my bad uh, of course people are grasping at that too i get that but it's not it's just just not going well right now and that's the uh, that's all she wrote i mean that's all uh asman gold said uh but i want to show you guys this as well wait for it and this is where things get a little dicey because what he do he apologized <laughs> he says looking back on it i was way uh, i was way too much of an asshole about the palestine thing my bad of course no one deserves to have their life destroyed even if they do things or have views I find regressive. You guys deserve more more than me saying stupid shit like that. I'll do better. Ah, the old do better aspect of it. Uh, bro, after that genocide saying, like normalizing genocide after that, bro, I don't know about that, bro. Yeah, so people are surely gonna feel some way about it. 110%, 110%, but yeah, right? Crazy, man. And as pointed out, you know, the idea of a quick quick apology, they'll never forgive you. The replies are proving that from the quartering over there. You just And he got called out. You just violated your own golden rule of never apologizing. It would, uh, I'd be interested to hear what you hear why you made that exception on your next YouTube video. He says, I don't mind apologizing if it's something that I'm actually wrong about. Given the amount of times I've gotten hate of things and never apologize should be proof of that. <sighs> okay, like I said, I don't know enough about all this stuff but the pushback yeah. was swift and you saw dexerto and a number of different people saying hey these are racist comments and you received all this this pushback for these racist comments and and i feel like that you can have your opinion uh banning somebody won't do anything like whether you're on the israel side or palestinian side uh it's not gonna do anything I i'm saying like peace i'm saying like no genocide 
generally like nowhere okay that that's anywhere N nowhere do i want that crap right uh because like war is never the answer uh, yeah like for example like you're out on the street somebody hits you you're weak in comparison you might not do anything right but if somebody like hits your mother even if you're weak bro you're gonna attack back you know, so simple concept, simple concept. War is never the answer. It it just creates people, uh, just uh, revenge fill them, and and I get that, bro. Like for example, if let's just say somebody cleared your household, man, uh, you are the only one, and you saw your loved one just pass near you, bro. You're gonna try and do everything you can to get that revenge, man. That's that's human instincts right there, bro. So it's uh, yeah, man. It's never the answer. War is never the answer, bro. Uh, but, but yeah, uh, you can have your opinion, you can, if you don't like their culture, that's fine, uh, you like their culture, that's fine too, but to, for, for being like genocide, that, that's, 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 that's just insane, man. And uh, the story goes as following, you know, he's talking about during a live stream, he had a short explanation on his views about the Israel-Palestine conflict, um, and his comments were quick, quickly condemned by many viewers, as well as num uh, numerous fellow streamers. 100 Thieves streamer Brooke Ab uh, called called on Twitch to take action against Asmongold, describing comments as straight up racism. Uh, YouTuber Hakes said that Asmongold's comments should fall under Twitch's rules against violent hate speech, tagging Holy. Twitch and Twitch support. And that's when he apologized after that. And the reception to his uh, statement obviously was very yeah, harsh. typical PR post from the OT. What's, what's OTK though? What's OTK? And says is it was a PR move and not a genuine apology along the way. Uh, now, at this point, bro, like aliens gotta come down, man. Aliens gotta, aliens gotta come down and save us, man. Like this situation is crazy. This is what no video game does to a motherfucker, bro. Uh, okay, let's actually check out like XUC and Hasana B and the the Asmund Gold situation. Roll it. Stop rationalizing acts of terror. It's fucking weird. Stop it. We're not gonna do this in this chat. We're not gonna do this today. We're not doing this today. <laughs> I guess we're doing it today, man. Holy. Uh, a teenager of of uh, his his home. Yeah, right? yeah. With but American he's not mom. he's not getting he's not getting killed by by gay people, right? He's not getting killed. Like if he's if he, uh, so what? which means that for most of his life he has. We'll talk to Anne Frank uh, in in real time. That's all he's known is is death and destruction of of uh his his home yeah right? yeah With but American he's not mom, he's not getting he's that, not getting killed by by gay people right he's not getting killed like if he's if he's no, talking no, about like on. hating israel we're, we're, or we're hating talking about gay people well, thank you for subscribing appreciate it well, we're, okay. i'm gonna bring up something important here first of all he wasn't houthi i asked him he was like i'm not which many people said oh he's um hiding it he's pr train which is really yeah, funny sure. to say about like some random fucking dude who can't even speak english like he doesn't give a fuck if people call him anti-semitic and and i asked him like what do you think about jewish people what what if i were to tell you that like jewish people are leading the anti-zionist movement in america and he was like that's great i love them that's awesome anyone who's against israel is is my friend now that might have been one of the first instances where this person ever even heard that Jewish people were against the state of Israel. Okay. Well, I don't know but about that. I mean, they have the internet, right? Was, I mean, his immediate reaction. Yeah. His immediate reaction was, "That's great. Love that. Mm -hmm. I'm a I'm a big fan of that. Something along those lines." And the reason for that is because there is a a a, a far greater problem that people care about, and and. And that is Israel's complete domination over the region, America's complete domination by way of uh, utilizing Israel over the region. Mm -hmm. That's all they care about. If that was removed from the equation, okay, these people, some of them would absolutely be right wing. Some of them would absolutely be like, oh, no, I still don't fucking, I, I don't fuck with uh, gay people. Fuck those guys. I want to kill them. And other people would say, I'm gay. I fought alongside you. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? That's just how human beings are. That's just how they, uh, that's how society ends up uh, evolving to a point that we take for granted. Wait, what? Chai, isn't that just. Bro, like, let's just. Bro, like. Let, let people live, man. Just simple as that, bro. Simple as that. Uh, 
make video games great make the world a great place man peace and love to everybody guys like this is a crazy drama there's this is a this situation is gonna keep on going i'm not sure if you guys saw this video or not man we had like some gta 6 news man yeah bro like Bruh. some good news for gta 6 let's talk about video games man check out this video on the screen and i'll see you right there man if you already seen it then check out the video on the left crazy clips in that one man like i i rather karen videos i rather karen videos 